analogy for uh, for you know keeping your blood sugar on count is like trying to steer a boat in the wind. It's so difficult, and there's so many different factors that are, are pushing in it. Um, from the bottom here, we have carbs, carbs that, your blood that are pushing up. pushing the boat in one direction, and you can you know it starts to overcorrect, and so in from the other direction here, the we have the insulin that's going to try to correct it in, in the opposite direction. The other thing we have here is something like wind. Yeah, we <laughs> that could be uh, exercise or some or unknown lack of element. Exercise yeah, or lack or, of exercise that or being also um, uh, yeah, kind of that also, <laughs> that also uh, factors into how you uh, you know how you interject the, the amount of uh, insulin to, to offset all these things. So it's always uh, it's not a straight path. It's always uh, there's a lot of unknowns to it. So it's like you're steering this thing, and, and as you steer it, I guess if anyone's driven a boat in the wind, it's like you start to turn and nothing happens, and so you turn a little bit more, and then all of a sudden something really starts to happen, and, and, it, and so then you start turning the, the, you know, the rudder in the opposite direction, and then you overcorrect there. So it's like it's about, uh, it's about subtle corrections along the way instead of just big, you know, big steering uh, um, you know, to left and, and right. And that's why to eat snacks and set up the little meals. And we decided that we thought this would be a great game or an app that kids that were newly diagnosed would play before the class and then during the class it would be introduced as you remember when you played that game how hard it was to keep things in check and on track and like where so would say this is actually a, a video game or an app or something like one of the things we thought is you could uh, also you know if this was a video game or something for kids to play it could come in the form of a car you know, it could have different, and I think when, uh, Snowstorm. Uh, Sarah, when you were talking in the, in the beginning, you started talking about what's your superhero, and so there's all these different mm -hmm. uh, things that people really relate to, and you could just kind of click on this, and it would, it would change the, um, it's almost like your screensaver, your preferences. So if it, if it was soccer, if that's what you loved, you'd do all of this through soccer analogies, mm -hmm. that kids would be, oh, I get it, I get it, you know? Or if it's for you know a young girl or something that has something to do with little animals or, or something like that, mm -hmm. superheroes or Harry Potter or football, which I might listen to, or cars, I might listen to that too. Um, art, or you could start getting into colleges, you know, for the parents. You know, this is Michigan. This is the evil force of. Uh, <laughs> you know, here's Ohio State, and then here's. <laughs> they, they wouldn't like Michigan State correcting them, but it, it'd be Jim Harbaugh, you know, Jim Harbaugh uh, offsetting the you know the cards, and so. You know, the whole idea is trying to keep the, you know, the, the team on track and whatever and not, uh, you know, knock out of bounds or something like that. I, I just think you turn it into, into a game and, and, and I think that was Cheryl's idea about introducing, just having the game uh, shown to the kids originally and they're just kind of playing it because they'll play any game. Maybe a parent will sit there and play a game and then introduce that, okay, so remember how you played the game, now let's take a look mm -hmm. at it as though it were, you know, from a diabetes standpoint, it's all about this and about that. and and then you know, kind of having extra um, unknown factors that are also going to affect uh, you know your route to to keeping this thing on track. So.